Hey you guys, so this tutorial is going to walk you through logging into Adobe Express and creating your color harmony boards. So when you log in, you're going to make sure you do continue with Google because Adobe Express uses the same credentials as Adobe Creative Cloud. So just like Adobe Creative Cloud, when we get here, we want to do enterprise ID. So when this loads, we have access to all of our previous projects that we might have created. Um, in Adobe Creative Express. Um, for this particular project, we're going to be creating a collage. So we're going to hit the plus sign to create a new project and select the collage option. Once we get to this point, um, we can upload our images. So you should already have the images that you downloaded from um, one of the stock websites saved in a folder named and they should each be named by their um, color scheme. So uh, this example is the monochromatic, but you should also have a folder for complementary and analogous because you'll be making three of these. My example that I'm showing you is just the monochromatic version. So I've downloaded um, eight images that I feel like go with um, my monochromatic theme of blue, um, but you should have at least six. Um, that's the minimum. So, and sometimes downloading a lot more or more at least than you need is a good idea. Um, and I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm going to select all of these. So to select them, I can click below and drag upward. You can also click the first one, hold down shift on my keyboard and select the last one that will select all of them and then click open. Um, Adobe Express will give us this preview of uploads here to kind of show us the images that we're uploading at this point, we can do a little bit of quick editing before we're committed to a collage. So this is showing my eight images. If I decide now that I'm looking at them all together, that some of them don't go and immediately I notice that these two are kind of more of a green blue than a blue blue. So I can hit the trash can that will remove them from the collage. If I decide I want to upload additional images or I want to put something back that I accidentally deleted, I can go back to upload and select another image and it will add it back in here. All right, I'm actually going to get rid of that one though. So I'm going to stick with my six and I'm going to hit next. And here Adobe Express is giving us the choice to enter a size. We're going to make these five by eight. So we're going to click custom. And if I click five, by eight, you'll notice that it gives me a red warning because it's lower than the range of pixels. We want to make sure we do five by eight inches. So we're going to come over to the units drop down here and select I N for inches and then re-enter. And I'm actually going to change this now to eight inches wide by five inches high. And if I wanted to flip flop that, I can click these arrows here, but I'm going to stick with my eight inches wide, five inches high and click next. So now Adobe Express is going to generate the collage based on the images that I uploaded, as well as the size that I entered for the custom size. This can take a little bit of time just because it's organizing and resizing the images to figure out how to fit them in the space that you've designated the best. So we just wait. All right. And here we go. So Adobe Express, as you know, because you've probably been in here before, um, gives you lots of suggestions on what you might want to create. We're actually going to ignore that for now. So I'm going to close it and we're going to focus more on the layout of our collage and arrangement of our images. So we're going to use this, um, these options over on the right side of the screen. We can change the color. This mostly has to do, this has to do with the in-between um, color. Oops, try that again. Uh, so this is like the in-between where we can see this, these lines, the grid lines that are dividing the photos. So this created a color scheme, a monochrome color scheme based on the monochrome images that I have uploaded. So when you upload your analogous and your complementary color collages, you'll notice that this almost creates um, an additional color scheme for you based on those colors. We can click shuffle and that will kind of shuffle through the colors that they feel like goes best with our images. I actually prefer the white grid lines. I think that gives it a cleaner look. So I'm going to use this back arrow up here to go back until I get back to the white lines in between. And I'm going to click that again to close that area. 
Uh, the next thing I want to look at is layout. So this gives us some suggested layouts that we might be interested in for our grid. And these change depending on how many images you have uploaded for your collage. So you, if you have seven or eight images, you might have some different options here that I don't have available. Um, so it just kind of changes based on what you've got. So I'm going to click on these and just kind of see what happens. Just like with the color, it gives us the shuffle option and that just indicates that it's moving the images around. Um, so when you get to one that you like, you have some options within each image frame that you can do. So we can click and drag to um, improve the composition. So maybe if you wanted something centered or maybe um, I want it kind of facing into the page, I can do that. Um, we also have these drag lines where we can sort of drag and customize the size of each frame based within the collage. And um, you can also, when you click on an image, you can choose to zoom in. So if I wanted this just to show the blueberries and not the packaging, I could do that. This image has words on it, so I could maybe use this um, option to make sure I can read everything that it says. Uh, this paintbrush is sort of getting hidden, so maybe I want to drag that over a little bit so we can see what that image is about. Um, so that gives us a better idea. Same with this one. I probably could um, center that a little bit more and maybe show a little bit more of the hand. So I've got equal space on the top and the sides and then, of course, the hand showing. Um, so you can refine here. There's some other filter options that you can try with um, color. We don't want to get too much into this because our purpose here is monochrome. So we want to stick with the colors that we have. So I would discourage changing the colors within um, Adobe Express. Um, there's some other things you can try if you have a like options in Adobe Express is that you can actually have a, a logo that you can apply if you wanted to. So um, I think I like this the way that it is. Um, oh, one other thing is that I believe in the layout, we can change how thick the borders are so we can make them thicker or thinner. Um, so kind of pay attention to that as well. Okay. So, um, I'm going to label this one. So if I was doing all three, like you are, um, I would want to label this for what they offer for what it is. So this one happens to be monochrome. So I'm going to get the text. And just like everything else, it wants to give me all these ideas of how to add text, but the most important part of this project, this assignment is emphasis on the color. So I feel like these would place emphasis on the text and distract from the color layout, which is our purpose. So I'm just going to add my text and keep it really simple um, because I want the most emphasis to be on my images. So double click to edit. And this is monochrome. So I'm going to type in monochrome here. And then I've got some options where I can change the color. I'm going to stick with white because I want that clean look. So it's not distracting from my images. So I'm going to make that a crisp white. I can change the, um, the font style. Looks like it's having some loading issues, but I can change the font style once this finishes loading. Um, some other things that I can change are the size. I can change if it's centered, left or right justified. We can put it in a shape. This is another one that can quickly get distracting. Um, so when we click on it, we've got some choices here of what to do. And you can see how quickly distracting they become. That obviously, I would not understand what you were trying to show me here if you chose that option. So I'm going to stick to something really simple, just this highlighted version. And then even with this, we can select what color is highlighting it. In the background so i'm going to go to this blue that i feel like goes best with the blues in my images for my to continue with my analogous i mean my monochrome color scheme so i'm going to make this small again emphasis on the images not on the text and i'm going to actually put it right over here to the side um sort of placed i think within this one I, ideally i would like it to just jump onto that brick, but we'll stick to it right there. Um, so now I've got my image, how I like it. I took some time to consider my layout. I adjusted some settings to zoom in and out specifically on the blueberries. I played with some other things to really get it how I like it. And now it's time to save this. So this project gets saved just like all of our other projects in here. So get used to this naming scheme. So first initial, 
last name, hyphen, your block. I'm going to use A1 as my example. This project would be, I'm just going to name it um, Color Harmony. Actually, take that back. We're going to name it Harmony Board. And this one is the first one, and it's monochrome, but we're going to just do 01, and then our next one will be 02 and 03. Um, so I've got that named correctly and now I'm ready to download it so that I can submit it to canvas. So I'm going to select JPEG and download, and then it's going to ask us where we want to put it. Um, so I'm actually going to put it right back into the folder where my images are that I created my collage with. And I'm going to get rid of that extra one that it tacked on there and hit save. All right, and so I've got my image saved into my finder. So when I go to turn this in on Canvas, I have my image right here. So I would upload that JPEG to Canvas to the assignment. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys create. I'm excited to see what um, color schemes you guys select within the monochromatic, complementary, and analogous color schemes. Um, enjoy, have fun.